Uh, we are here today to raise the awareness around uh, issues that are going on uh, in Denver Public Schools. There's a persistent problem in Denver Public Schools. And we have to do something about that as a city. Activists outside district headquarters know it. Because our system is intentionally failing our black and brown children. So does the school board. It broke my heart. And so do families. I am a mother. Who have seen it firsthand. It's, it's shown us disparities, it's shown us gaps, and at the end of the day, it's shown us racism. A report from the State Department of Education explains the problem. A DPS program for students with emotional disabilities includes a disproportionate number of black boys. And the state found a long list of issues with how the district placed and evaluated them. It doesn't surprise me at all. Should it? Yes, it doesn't. But it doesn't surprise me. It hurts to know that there are other families that are living a parallel world that I lived when I was raising my sons through DPS. Medean Holmes raised three kids, two boys in Denver Public Schools. Yes, I am a proud graduate of Montbello High School. She says the district still grapples with the same the equity issues as back right. then. In a lot of ways, the system has regressed. But I have seen power and progress in the community. The community now demands a fix to this problem everyone knows about, but no one knows what to do. I don't have all of the answers because if I had all of the answers, this problem would be solved. Stand with you board members. School board members say because it needs to change, but don't to. say how. We cannot continue to do the same thing, expecting different results because that's the very definition of insanity. We'll always brand the system. Holmes says just the start system. somewhere. Otherwise, the problem will continue to grow. How do you fix it? How do you eat an elephant one bite at a time, right? We want what our children deserve. That's why we're here. Denver Public Schools tried to get rid of the program in question in 2020, but says it couldn't because it didn't have an alternative in place. The district also wants to tackle equity issues in other programs, like its gifted and talented program as well. At the school board meeting tonight, the superintendent again said the existing special ed program is a system he wants to, quote, dismantle. And, and they're seeing that this is bigger than they than they thought. It's not. Extent. Yeah, it's not just the special ed program. The school board got data tonight that showed a continued racial disparity in test scores in the district as well. All right. Thank you, Cole.